hello, good evening, and cheers with what another Canadian called a step two, I think. Anyway, cheers. LOL. <laughs> Have the courage to be disliked. Coming from somebody who can hardly keep friends because of their beliefs and the fact that I walk my talk and I think when I posted about the children and not leaving this at their mental health door is the right thing. It's the right way to go about this. It's not on them. It's not on their current mental health. Their lives are what we make it. What we consciously choose to instill in the children, that's a choice that us as adults make. It's not... A few people were quite adamant about, of course I would never tell... No, but it's all over the news. It's everywhere. Please stop. Please stop doing this. Children are not dumb. They, wrong word. Of course they're not dumb. They're all very, very loud. Oh, words. Love words, but they have meaning. Lasting lasting meaning on a child in their brain. This is not how we want them to remember this. It's just not. Stop it. Find anything else but stop. Everybody needs to really, oh man, they do not deserve it. Doesn't matter what you call it, what I call it, what the government calls it. It needs to be something other than it's for their mental health. Stop. Stop. Be irrational. Wear a fucking... Mm. Wear a tinfoil hat. I quite like my strainer. Raw man. <laughs> But please don't lay this at their, it's children, everything, they're like sponges. Children are sponges and, and what you get out of them is what you put into them. We need to stop putting this on the children. Make the choice and do what's right for their long-term mental well-being. We are here to make the best of the situation as we can. We, as adults, and the majority of the ones I've been seeing and hearing and listening to and reading about, we're not doing a great job. We don't have a lot of control over how we are all dealing with 2020. There's very little practice, you know, practice, practice, practice. No.
There's no practice for this. And, and we as adults need to own that and just figure it out from there and not lay it at somebody else's door for the mental health. Not just today or this week or six months from now or a year from now. The children of today Can't we just protect them to the best of our ability? The world's crazy enough. Let's not add to their future crazy. There, there's going to be enough. There's really going to be enough. We should all become psychologists now. Ladies and gentlemen, you do a great job, by the way. In my time as being a parent to some very troubled children, I've come across some very good, very, very good, and, and not so good child psych psychotherapists, all those, all the things, all the therapists. They do not deserve it. Children should be as innocent and carefree as they possibly can be for as long as possible. Any parent will agree. They deserve our love and protection. And that includes from 2020. Everything is a freaking basket out there. We all know that. It's not a good basket. Somebody didn't teach somebody how to weave properly. It's 2020. One of my grandchildren and her mother are living with me. Because it's 2020. And that's the best option. The best protection for everybody involved. The best way to keep some sanity in an already really messed up world for some people. I'm doing the best I can. It's not great. This is not great. This is not the best environment. But I'm keeping my children, half of my children, and a quarter of my grandchildren as safe as I possibly can. Physically, and mentally because it's all I can do shouldn't we all be trying to do the best we can for our children and our grandchildren I honestly don't know if I'm facing or going to be facing some sort of legal thing because I've insisted that the grandchild living in my home stay home. She's learned her, she's learning her numbers. She's getting her letters. There's, there's three of us and we're trying. We have no freaking clue what we're doing. There's teachers in, in the family, like my children's uncle is a teacher. Their grandfather, before he passed, was a teacher and at one point was even a principal. He, he's an amazing man. Um, I, I don't come close to, to his intellect. That, Art. Oh, I guess that's not what I would have said, hey, ever. 
ever when you were alive. Just nothing, nod and smile, or Mr. Braun. That's it. <laughs> ever. I remember you. I remember you from my last full school year. <laughs> Grade 7. You taught... See, segues. Um, he passed from cancer. It was, it was fast. We can't compare to what they do. And, and really we haven't managed to get finances because of the need of tax. Things happen, life happens, even with the best light plans, things happen. And, and so getting things in, in place and finding out about there's more I should have done, but it's not in my place. And I was, things are being done. She's not as well socialized as maybe she could have been if she was in a school. She's not in a hospital. Excuse me. So, I may end up having to go to court over the phone or not. I'm not sure how that's going to go. But that's what I'm here to do. I am scared to death of this whole thing. I am so scared all the time of so many things. But that child is not going to school. Because the chances of her contracting anything would be horrendous. And speaking of, she's here right now. Because I can't sleep. Okay, I'll get you a drink. Just a second. <laughs> so, I made her tea. And I'm back. Chamomile tea. Just light. Quick dunk. Domestic tea bag. Ish. Anyway. Um... Her and others like her, they're the reason. It's for us to figure out, us, we shoulder this. We have to shoulder this. Mm-mm. No matter what side of the fence you're on, we've all made choices as adults, and we are what influence our children. Own it. Let's figure this out. We have to figure this out. What do we leave them? Let's do this, please. Can we do this together? For globally, the children, all of them, good, bad, indifferent, blah, does it matter? Does it matter? It doesn't. That's going to be taken out of context.
we wouldn't ask them to shoulder any other part of 2020. Why would we ask them now when it's definitely not on them? We've had months to figure this out. Months. And we have not. Please stop putting it on the children. Harmony, happiness, and health to all our homes. That's all there is. Politics, religion don't matter. None of it matters. It's what we're leaving. At this point, what we're leaving for, for them, for future generations, She constantly talks about what we're going to do when the virus ends. Is it tomorrow? Why did this happen? Was it yesteryear? She misses her daddy. She misses her yellow house. She misses normal too. And she has... It's not on her to figure it out. It's on us in this house to make it the best possible experience we can with the tools we have. We're trying because it's all we can do because we all love her. And that's that's it. That's just all there is to it. We love her. And we will do what is necessary to keep her as safe as possible for as long as possible and not lay any of it at her door. It's nothing to do with her. Nothing. She just asked a kid. She wanted chores last week. She asked me about chores and having her job around the house. So, you know, we've talked about, okay, you can keep your toys and do this and the regular things you give kids. But at the time I told her her biggest job was to kid. That's all I want her to do. That's all I want her to do. Just, just, just kid. Be a kid. Be gross. Be disgusting. Tell your fart jokes, which drive me up the wall. Look for attention. Poke at the cat. You know, do what kids do. When, when they're bored and they want more attention, they need more stimulus. Be a kid. Nothing else. That's it. Let's braid your hair. Let's paint your nails. Let's talk about the tooth fairy because you've lost another tooth today. Let's kid. That's it. That's all. Whether they're five, seven, or twelve, 
they're still children. And none of this should be on their shoulders. And any of you that are mad or have some sort of reaction, I'm actually kind of happy. Cognitive dissonance. It means somewhere inside of you something tells you to keep thinking. Please be mad at me. Don't put it on them. deserve so much more. You've left them with so little already. Harmony, happiness, and health. And hope that we do the right thing. <laughs>